Hey everybody, let's go to Savers. So what I try to do the first thing when I get to Savers is donate something. I usually have things in my car that I've accumulated, whether it's things I've decided not to list or just things around the house, but I always want to have something when I get to Savers. Oopsies, <laughs> people, people. Uh, yeah, and that way I can get my 20% off coupon when I go. First thing I like to check is to see if they have any jewelry jars, and today they did. I actually think I bought both of the jars they had today. Maybe I just got one of them. They have not been great. I mean, there have been a few saving graces out of them, but probably, unless they get somebody new doing the jars, I probably won't be buying any for a while. I have a couple here that I still haven't um, opened up, but even still, like the jewelry that's hanging the person that does the jewelry there is now it's priced way more than I want to pay five bucks no I mean it was a really cute necklace like if it was something I was buying for me sure five bucks is no big deal but as far as flipping it it would have to sell for a lot more for me to to want to spend five bucks on it at this savers I really like to stop at the art because I frequently find pretty cool things when I'm in this section. Let's see what I find this time. Let's, so far I'm seeing, so I, I like to look for things that are unique, like something that's hand created, something that might be an artist signed, or something that's got a really good collector value, maybe something that's really, I think I've, I said unique already. You'll see in a minute, there's a piece that I, I, I don't end up getting it. I'm gonna spoil it for you. This is interesting. I was like, oh, let's look at that. But I, as much as I'm like, dive in, do, do whatever, you know, like really stretch yourself, getting bigger pieces, I, I still hesitate on this. So here's this velvet Jesus painting, and I'm going to pop up the artist and what these are selling for. This is by Marcellus Bades or Bades, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, and it's a Hawaiian artist. My thoughts were, one, there are two listings up currently for about $200. There are zero solds. So this is something that, I'm not, again, I don't normally go off solds, but there aren't any solds. So I was just kind of on the fence about, do I really want this sitting there? I mean, I know it's 7 bucks, but I would have been taking a chance, spending $7, having something sit in my office that might sell for 200 bucks might I mean I'm really I hover about it because I'm like really really trying to make that decision but I ended up not getting it there were too many cons in that situation for me to get it and I'm sure I'm gonna have somebody like shaking their fist at me saying oh it was such a bad decision Margaret maybe probably uh, but yeah I decided I mean it was in great shape I just couldn't leave it I was like gosh I really feel like I should get this but this is one of those that I really don't regret not getting it. I I feel like pretty good about, about leaving it behind because I like I say, it, it could sit in my office for five years. Who knows? <laughs> and I just couldn't I just didn't want it sitting here staring at me. <laughs> Honestly, that's part of it too. Didn't want it. It's like the scary dolls, right? Some people don't want the dolls and maybe I don't want a velvet Jesus staring at me. I guess I could have hung it on my wall. And just like left it there until it sold but nothing doing okay so you saw me pick up uh, dear america books these are non-fiction i mean rather historical fiction they're written like diaries from different kids in history uh, so i picked these up we personally enjoy these books and so depending on the ones you get you can get a good profit off of them if you find them at a garage sale or just start making a stack with that that lot and so you can create a lot I should say uh, it's worth doing that I mean there are other book series that are like that where you can just start making a stack when you find them out and about uh, Dear America is one that you might consider I always look for Garfield books one because my kids like them but then eventually when they're done with them I can just create a stack and when I have a big old stack of them I can sell you know those I mean uh, any book series is kind of especially if they've got lots of books like the series of unfortunate events or Harry Potter, you know, that, that type of deal. But I know we're going to hang on to these for a little bit because I enjoy them. The kids enjoy them. 
And then when we're done, like I say, I can just turn around and sell the lot of them. I do look through the albums here. I have not hit the jackpot on the albums, I, and that is not my forte at all. There are, again, lots of people know tons more about music than I do, but I always look for something obscure, something, you know, like an old punk album, things that are in my wheelhouse, ska, punk, things that maybe aren't being released on vinyl anymore. But no, this just looks like somebody cleaned out my mom's record shelf. <laughs> I didn't see any Chris Christopherson though, or Manaheim, is it Manaheim Steamroller, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, mom, we gotta work on that. So next up, uh, the bags are always fun. I I love digging through the bags because you get a lot of really cool stuff for cheap. And let's see what I find in the bags. What's your best find? Do you have bags where you are? When I was back in Houston, there were just a couple of places that had the bags. It's funny, I see something on the shelf there that I don't get on this trip, but it's still there the next time and I end up getting it. These are like these little vases and I end up getting them and the next time I go, which is cool that they're still there. Maybe it's a sign. We'll find out. A sign that they won't sell. Nobody else wanted them, but I haven't listed them yet. So that's the trick. You got to list them in order to sell them. What have we here? So I'm looking, these look like um, greeting cards. And I, oh, those are postcards. I don't get them because one, there's just two postcards in there and it's four bucks for the whole bag. I think if it had been a lot more of the postcards and less of other stuff, then perhaps it would have been something I would have gotten. Paper ephemera stuff is, is fun to sell. It's usually pretty cheap and cheap to ship. Look at these. Oh yeah. I love picking up the um, napkin rings. And those are really cool, like, kind of mid-century modern, vintage-looking napkin rings. So, and the, I went ahead and listed both sets that were in there. Oh, boy, here we go. Trigger warning, if you're scared of dolls, here she comes. I kind of feel bad for her. Her head's popping off. Her eyes are, like, all wonky. But I just couldn't bring her home. This one, this porcelain doll, I believe is a Shackman, which, not her. Not that one. The other one I'm about to show you here. I think... I didn't look at the back of her, but I believe she's a Shackman just based on her face. And she, I mean, I didn't see how much it cost, but but there are there's a, a small collect. I say a small collector base. There's a collector base for Shackman dolls. I have a few, a, a few small ones. But she needs a little work for sure. This is the section in the bookstore. I mean, the bookstore in the thrift store. The the books that are like. They're just kind of like the, they don't know where to put them kind of books, you know? Sometimes there's anime in here. Sometimes there's humor, cartoon books that I like. Just sometimes there's just wacky, weird books in this section. I love that they have it set up this way um, because I frequently find just weird, interesting, fun stuff that I can turn around and fail, uh, f sell. I can't, I'm rhyming, I see the F for fabric and I rhyme it with sell and I say fell. Do y'all do that? Do you like the wrong word comes out because you're looking at the wrong thing? That's just the way it is. Okay. What else have we got here? Do I find any books? I found a cool anime book here once in this section. What else? My kids, you know, they like Pushing, Garfield, Farside. Cal I found three Calvin and Hobbes here last time, but I ended up giving them to my kids because we it was, it was three Calvin and Hobbes that we didn't have and my kids like the classics y'all the classics now let's swing it around and look at the figurines again I know I say this every time I come to this savers they usually have a really good selection of stuff but the prices are sometimes they're great and sometimes they're just like crazy high so I just like to dig around and see what I find. See, I like getting animal figural stuff, but not that style. This I do get. Five bucks. It's a very heavy cast iron <clears throat> cat door stopper. Has this sold already? I feel like it might have sold. Looking around like, did it already sell? <laughs> I know I listed it. These figures, if they had not been damaged, I would have definitely gotten them. Look at her. Isn't she fantastic? And then the mariachi. But they were really chipped up and... That was such a bummer because they're so cool. 
<clears throat> Pardon me. Then, let's see what else we see. Y'all let me know if you see something that I miss. There's the nativity. I always hesitate. You know, the baby Jesus is always missing from the nativity. Why is that? I guess if you ever see a floating baby Jesus by itself, you know, not floating, but if you ever see one, hey, people are, they've got their nativity, they lost the Jesus, they're going to be looking for the Jesus. I've, this guy has been here for a number of times that I've been. He's missing his fishing pole, but he's fun. What do you think about that? I was thinking about it. It's like a little fryer with a baseball bat and baseball. I mean, I wonder if he was somebody. <laughs> what if he was somebody? Was he something? Mm, I don't know. He stayed behind. He stayed behind. This is a little... Four bucks, though. Come on. Now then, what else have we got down here? What are these decorative balls? Do you guys use these? I mean, there's like... I get the people get these like bowls, and then they put these decorative balls in them, and I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Sometimes they're like wooden or like like woven with reeds or something. Let's look at the ceiling. And then they just like put them in a bowl on a table for decorations. I don't understand. <laughs> Clearly this is why I'm not a decorator. <laughs> now, this is a, yeah. There's some fun, I mean, come on. $4.99 for a used owl candle. It's cute and all, but seriously, no. I guess just somebody locked it in on $4.99 back there in the, in the back and just marking everything four ninety nine. I'm looking I'm gonna show you in a second. There's some candlesticks here. These I do regret. Oh gosh. Aren't they awesome? Why didn't I get them? I think I same deal, like I was on that writing on that painting being too big. But I those candlesticks are awesome and I kinda wish I had them for me, you know. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Oh well. I just can't, you just have to move on. We make mistakes and leave things behind and regret it later. And that's just the way it is. Let's see. I just noticed there's an Olaf up there and I missed it. All right. Look at these, this porcelain set. It's, they're candlesticks. Like little candles go in the top and they say joy. They spell out joy. I feel like I maybe should have gotten it because it was $3 for all three of them. And... I feel like that might have been an, a pretty good purchase, but I didn't get them. Yeah. You never know. I mean, in the moment, we all make, like I say, we all make mistakes. In the moment, and we just rationalize, oh, no, not that. Are you getting the mood? Do you all do that? You get kind of get in the mood for certain things when you're thrifting and when you come across things that really aren't <laughs> what you feel like picking up. I don't know. It's just for funsies. What else have we got here? I'm always looking for the flat folded wrapping paper. However, I have a feeling it would be really expensive. Add savers. I have had I have found some really good vases. This one no, made in China. Is that a made in China? There's some other little votive candle holders um that pop up in just a second that they look so cool but then they were made in China which I guess shouldn't 100% matter because if it's cool that's plastic that's why I'm like uh never mind I mean if it's cool looking and if it catches the light and it does the trick and people would buy it right so here they are look at these aren't they really pretty but then I'm like, oh, they're made in China. Maybe I shouldn't get them. Watch somebody holler, Margaret, that was something real. It doesn't matter. Something real. Something special. <laughs> Let me know. Make me feel awful. <laughs> and I didn't get it. Yeah, I just... I'm not a deck... Like, I, I know you don't have to be a decorator to do this, but I look at some of these things and I'm just like, what? Why? <laughs> I was like, this is what I want. This is my style. Look at me being judgy today, too. What? Something is in the air. I'm feeling very judgmental, and I need to cut it out. That's a fun little frame. See, and now you can judge me and say how awful you think it is. 
Love looking at the metal stuff. I always find really cool things in here. These giant keys were fun, but they wanted $7 for them. They were heavy. They were cool. Another big key. Somebody put glitter on it, though. Necklace. What's up with that? Four bucks. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is the monkeys. The hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Look at the Look at him. <laughs> He's like, I wish I had covered my eyes instead. He looks very, very disconcerted uh, that he chose to cover his ears rather than his eyes. <laughs> what do you imagine they were seeing or not seeing or hearing? Uh, I like picking up the hear no evil, see no evil, those that type of thing. But I, I don't know. Maybe in the moment I was like, he is weird looking. But now I feel like, oh, I definitely should have gotten him. Look at that butterfly, too. Isn't that fun? All right. I think, what do y'all think that is for? Do you think it's for, like, cutlery and stuff? It was made like a, like a, a planter. I guess you could have used it for a planter. Now, here... I always like to look for jewelry boxes or trinket boxes because they are pretty easy to pick up and sell. Anything unique. I like that this had leather hinges on it or leather snaps. No, that's hinged and then there were leather snaps to close it. Interesting, right? But it was really scuffed up so I was like, ah, <laughs> pass. What do you like picking up from this section? Do you buy tin, tin boxes, like the little metal ones like this? It's a cute one. Why don't I get that? It's pretty cute. Buck ninety nine. Okay, I put it in the cart. Good job. Maybe I did get it. Maybe, maybe it's over there still, and I haven't listed it yet. Oh, down she blows. There she blows. Down she goes. What else do we see here? Lots of hooks. I don't think I could get that box open. There weren't drawers or anything, and I was like, what is the story with this? It's a box you can't open. And look, here's another one. Maybe somebody, like, glued them closed or something? I don't know. There was no opening them. At least not one-handed. I put these in my cart for a second because I actually got some for a project that the kids and I did and so I was thinking oh we we could have used that but then I realized we could have used it but I already got stuff to do the project so I don't end up getting them <clears throat> but if you're a homeschooler or you can always find really cool stuff to supplement when you're at the thrift store would you have gotten this orange deck I feel like if there had been more than one I might have done it Multiple. Somebody painted it, clearly. Oh, he's chipped. Darn it, never mind. You could stay there. Perfection. I'm kind of, oh, here we go. Now we're talking. I just got this listed. Really pretty inlaid mother of pearl and bone box. It does have that spot on the back, but it's on the back, so I don't think it's going to uh, hurt the value too too much but it was really nicely inlaid so and then had that nice veneer over it what do you call that coating can't think of the word varnish look at all the signs I'm so glad these are going out I'm the crazy aunt everyone warned you about somebody somebody's aunt was given nothing but these crazy signs for holidays and will probably continue to get them until she puts her foot down and says, I'm not the crazy aunt anymore. I'm the annoyed aunt. Stop giving me these signs. Dang it. All right, I see down here some carousels for slides. And I they're all empty. I like to look through them. I have sold vintage slides before. I remember that 
uh, I got it at the bins and it was like a binder full of like medical slides. Oh, they were disgusting. They were horrible. I can't handle gore like that. I know it's not technically gore because it was like medical. It was all for educational purposes, but I just can't take it. I can't. I can't watch gory stuff or like walking dead zombies. No, no. Okay, thrifting video suddenly turned into how much I can't handle zombies. <laughs> Aha, now we're talking. So art supplies, I don't get those chalk pastels because we already have some. And it, it wasn't a brand that I thought was a, a good like art brand. Maybe it was. I do get this. <clears throat> so $2.49, there is a, I get it for the wallet initially, but in the bag, there's also a Powder, Powerpuff Girls purse that has a little coin purse and a notebook and all that. The wallet, I got it because it's a banana that's walking around and that's hilarious to me. But the wallet is from uh, Arrested Development. And it's not worth very much, but the Powerpuff Girls purse thing, I listed it and it's already sold. I'm waiting for the buyer to pay, speaking of. So it's sort of sold. For like 20 bucks. So, waiting for that buyer to pay. Y'all know. Commiserate with me. You know my pain. I got a couple of waiting on that, uh, waiting on the buyers. So I can pass, pass them out, send them out, ship them out. That's what I mean. Then, what else have we got here? This is their cart where they start restocking the shelves. This was kind of cool. I picked it up for a little bit. I thought it might look cool. Maybe I should have gotten it. Maybe I did get it. It's 99 cents. I have a feeling that, no, because I've listed most of this stuff already. I've, unless there's another bag that I missed. Because I feel like for a buck, I would have gotten that. I'm looking over. <laughs> I'm looking over here to see, is there a bag that I missed to unpacking? Because I don't remember listing that. Those creamers were cute. There was no sugar to go with them, but they might have been okay. What else do we see along here? Nothing is catching my eye in this section. Are you seeing anything that I'm missing? Or that I should have taken a second look at? Let's see. I see a potato tureen. Yes, I said it. It's a tureen in the shape of a potato. Perhaps I should have looked at the price on that. because, <laughs> Or the maker. Maybe that's what I'm doing at this moment. But for whatever reason, I can tell you I don't get the potato tureen. I think it's hilarious, though. In line with walking banana on wallet. A potato tureen. I guess that's for your potato leek soup. But only your... What if we had that in our kitchen? What if you only could serve things... In very specific dishes, for example, a potato for the potato soup. That would be, you would need a much bigger kitchen, I'm afraid. All right, let's see. Oh, my musings today. What else have we got here? Nothing is jumping out at me. This little like a steam like sponge pan is that what it I wasn't quite sure what it was so that's why I wanted to get a second look at it I kind of wish I'd looked up that igloo it's pretty cool I think that's pretty awesome I didn't even look inside I think I was scared I see another little playmate up there that I probably should have looked at too the igloo playmates they've been putting out some cute ones by the way we just bought one with the yellow submarine like the Beatles yellow submarine little playmate they're so fun all right what else have we got over here coasters I I really like picking up things that are easy to photograph easy to list easy to store etc that's a nice little butter kind of a chintz Look, Royal went five bucks though. Five dollars. 
I just couldn't. Would you have gotten that for five bucks? Nope, I didn't think so. Okay, moving on. I see that there's a Starbucks mug in my cart that I didn't show you for whatever reason in the video. But it's a, a Starbucks mug. I, I look it up because I've gotten to that point. If, you, if you're selling mugs, especially Starbucks mugs, it's definitely worth double checking before you <laughs> pull the trigger on it to see if it's one of the ones that's selling. And this one kind of had like a foil, shiny... I'm wondering... Am I, oh, it's tiny. That's what it is. Like, why am I holding that up? You can't tell from the video, but it's like... so. It's a very small coffee pot, so... Like, that would be one cup of coffee for me. Anyway. Not seeing anything along here that I want. This dinosaur quilt. It's not a handmade quilt, but I kind of wish I'd gotten it. Because I really liked the dinosaurs, and I really liked the you know color on one side and then the black and white on the other. But I didn't get it. All right. That's a nice rainbowy. I think it's a curtain, though. I haven't been getting into the linens and fabrics as much lately. There's definitely money to be made there. But I, I haven't really been picking as much up. Unless it's, like, really stand out. Then it's... Then I'll get it. But I always look, though. Placemats. Frankly, I'll see placemats in this section and um, aprons. If they're cool aprons. I like that that had a barcode on it. That was pretty cool. So now we're coming down to. I'm trying to get around that. Look at this. It's one of those beaded doorway entries. We actually buy this and we try to hang it. But the strands, some of them are really broken and some of them keep falling off. And it was like shedding. It was really weird. I was like, oh, forget it. We ended up redonating it because we wanted it. We're like, this is fun. It made a fun clinky noise. But yeah, we, um, we ended up redonating it. Maybe I should have sold it. But it was, like I say, it was part of the strands were like short messed up. It was like some of the pieces were falling off. So, yeah. But I'm sitting there listening to it. That's what I'm <laughs> I'm doing. Here's the floor. So as you can see, my kid, you know, found Lego. Of course, they go sniff out the Lego and the, and the Nerf. They ended up deciding, the kids ended up deciding to keep these because we've been enjoying Lego Masters. Have you watched the show? Oh my gosh. So good. This is the area that's like the other bags that are tucked away from the other bags. That if you don't know there's bags over here, you might miss it. So I like checking that area out. Here we've got the small appliances. I don't usually hit this area up too much because it's like phone cases and cords and things. And I, I just don't know enough. I, I mean, phone cases are like a dime a dozen generally. So I don't even bother. Now this light, I pick up, I'm taking it over to plug it in to see if it works. And I do plug it in. The light might have been burned out, but it wasn't spinning. And the, there was a bulb in there. And it wasn't turning on. So I was like, oh, maybe it's not working. That was a cool cast iron pot. But I think, what did they want on it? 20 or 25 bucks? More than I wanted to pay. But probably still worth it if you were going camping. So, there are the lampshades and stuff. I saw the iridescence on that. I was like, is that something cool? No, maybe not. I'm not seeing anything else over here that I want, but we're going to plug in the the disco-y light. What do you call that? Like a, it's not a disco ball light, but I was kind of bummed out that it didn't... <laughs> Because I turned it on and it doesn't spin or anything. So, like, darn it. That would have been fun. 
We might have kept it for us to play with. <laughs> but we didn't. We just had to leave it. Yeah, I'm looking in there. See, there's a bulb. It's just And it might have just, like I said, might have been burned out, but... Isn't it supposed to spin, too? Like, the light, the ball part is supposed to spin? I think it is. I think it is. This section, we frequently find bags of Lego. Like, loose. But there are none today... One time I found a bag of like Barbie clothes and shoes. That was, that was nice. Somebody I think bought it from a haul, a haul video that I did. I never, I don't, I never got it listed. It sold that fast. That's always fun. Then coming along the baby stuff. Sometimes you'll find like nice quilt, like homemade baby quilts along here. I didn't see any today. Look at all the baby stuff. And then the little teeny purses are cute. Every now and then I'll find a wallet that's not technically a baby purse or a little purse in this section. So it's always worth a look. But for now, we're just going to look at this pole. Because whatever I'm doing, I'm doing in secret. <laughs> cute little panda. It's really squishy. It's almost like a squishmallow. What else have we got over here? Look at that tag. This little queen bee. Look at that. <laughs> I think about getting this little queen. It's like a belt fanny pack. It's not really a bee. It's just like a queen, but it's stripy like a bee. I, I consider getting it for my sister, but then decide, no, she's not going to use it. She's not going to use it. I'm not going to get it. What else have we got? That ladybug looks kind of weird. Let's see. Let me see. Do you see anything else? I guess that might have been a nice, like in, for your Nintendo Switch, like a little Charizard carrying case for your Nintendo Switch. That might have been an okay pickup. All right. There aren't any plush here. Look at that giant, giant bear. I just, you see so many more giant bears nowadays. I think if I was going to get one of the giant stuffed animals, it would be something not a bear. But I could be wrong. Would you have gotten that ginormous bear to sell? I feel like we see them now, like at H-E-B or Costco or all these different places. They're, maybe they're just as common as ever, but I just pay more attention to it now. They're crazy expensive usually. What else? There's lots of toys. But nothing, I think that's Flo's Garage. I might have should have looked at that from Cars. Not Flo's Garage, but one of the buildings. So my kid is about to come up with a toy. It's like a Nerf, not, it's not made by Nerf, but it's a water gun that you mount on a bike. And I actually have a video because we decided to keep it. And I'm inserting a video of it in just a sec. You'll see. What have we got here? I was looking to see if those were magnetiles, like a box of magnetiles. Those are so expensive. If you haven't priced those out, if you see magnetiles, or even magnetformers, which is kind of like magnetiles, but not as great. My kids don't like them as much. I should say that. Not seeing any games that are jumping out at me over here. And then, there it is Cyclone Water Blaster. If you like Thrift With Me's, Garage Sale With Me, haul videos, sales videos for what to sell on eBay. Etsy, those type of platforms, then make sure you've uh, subscribed to my channel and uh, follow me on Instagram so that you can have happy, happy things in your threads because I post lots of fun stuff on my Instagram as well. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Bye.